Doc is In is sponsored by Amada Senior Care. Fox 56 News Chief Medical Contributor Dr. Ryan Stanton is with us in studio. This morning he's focusing on what could become the future of dieting and exercise and based on what I'm seeing behind you, Doc, I see a couch potato. I like the looks of that. I know you do too. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I, I feel like during that break you're getting a little bit nervous about my morning <laughs> show up that I'm going to disrupt another <laughs> life choice. <laughs> Exactly. Let's see what we can do this morning. <laughs> well, a potential breakthrough for those couch potatoes and those who just don't want to buy into the traditional advice of diet and exercise may be on the horizon. New research published in the Journal of Pharmacology and Experimental Therapeutics investigated a new medication compound in animal studies across the United States that mimics the physiologic effect of diet and exercise. Basically, they allowed these mice to eat as much as they wanted and only activity as they desired, which wasn't very much. Even with fattening up and sitting around, they still managed to lose body fat, improve their lipids, increase muscle mass, avoid blood sugar problems, and boost heart function. These studies are still very early and this isn't the only one in investigation. Researchers predict it will be another four to five years before one of these medications is ready for approval by the FDA and widespread human use. The big question will be the trade-off since any manipulation of the human condition comes with risk. More research, including the human trials, will have to be done to establish the least, uh, at least the short-term risk as well as the longer-term potential risks of these medications. Still for most, the best option will be a proper diet and exercise, but the future may include medications that can bridge and augment the fitness and wellness that we may do on our own. So somebody who may have gotten behind the eight ball a little bit, help them get towards that wellness and fitness to decrease those lifetime risks associated mm -hmm. with cardiovascular, all the other risks that come mm -hmm. with it. But a pill mimicking exercise. A pill mimicking yeah. exercise? Exercise and diet. That yeah. would be yeah. so it, easy. It, would be, it could be huge. Unfortunately, I think for Americans that means super shortcut. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be that, but it may be something that may benefit and help and imp improve the overall health of Americans. Mm -hmm. I also think that when you're not constantly tracking calories and stressing yourself out to go work out all the time, that makes you less stressed, which can also probably mm -hmm. lend to a little bit of losing a little tummy. I can see a new phrase, stress. new phrase coming about, by the way. Instead of just hitting the gym, I got to hit the pill bottle. Do you think it's going to say that? Maybe. Probably. It could be. <laughs> Doc's like, I, I'm a I doctor. That, I can't I don't know comment that's on that. Catch. <laughs> okay. I don't know that's going to catch. <laughs> FDA's on the phone for you, Paul. <laughs> Line one, hello. We'll check in with Dr. Stanton in about half an hour. <laughs> Another half hour of news coming up after the break. You're watching Fox 56 News. Our home, your news.